Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the box plot chart. So box plot chart is a statistical chart which shows the summary of data based on the dimension you choose. So for example, we want to see the summary of uh, customers, uh, how they are distributed or maybe products by product name we want to see how our products are distributed for sales or for profit so if you want to know more about box plot because it is it is a little difficult for a beginner to explain so what i have is uh, a very simple wikipedia which has a very detailed text about how the box plot chart looks like uh, what are the types what are the variations so on and so forth so if you are interested in that you can look at it but let's go back and just see how we can create it because the interpretation is pretty long and i have just kept it out of it from this video if you're interested you can visit wikipedia all right um so let me just delete it um what i'll do is let me just simply replace it by dragging the box plot to here. Replace with box plot. All right, now we have the dimension. So I will add dimension. Um, let's say I want to add, see the box plot by customer name. And I want to add the measure that I want it for sales. And here is my simple box plot. So if I click done for now, this is what my box plot looks like. Um, and if you hover over a mouse to the box plot, it shows box and third quartile, median, first quartile, minimum. All of this explanation is given. But at a high level, these blue are nothing but uh, outliers, which says uh, this is basically lying uh, out of the boundary of this box plot based on the definition it has and uh, what is the median so this is basically a median value the middle value uh, what is the upper boundary and the lower boundary and uh, what this box is basically 25 to 75 percent of observations so as i said it is a bit, te bit technical um i'm keeping the interpretation out of it but let's say we want to uh, further enhance it so we can go into edit mode um over here we have given one dimension which is customer name let's add one more um, we want to see customer name by customer segment let's say so now uh, very nice we have uh, four different uh, box plot chart as you can see so i will click on done and here uh, we are clearly seeing the four different segments that we have for our customers and clearly see in the consumer we have a very high outlier in this case which was earlier not available so that's how that's how you can basically do the visual discovery and then let's say you have the other dimensions uh, through which you want to filter you can have it right so for example if i go into the edit mode if i just drag the filter pane somewhere uh, maybe over here and add a dimension maybe what um product category right uh done so now i can choose for any of this uh, box plot the product category let's say furniture now i can see the distribution of data for my cons for each of my customer segment for my product category furniture so that's how you can make more and more complex but since this video is for beginners so i will just stop it here uh, you can add as many as dimension you want which is relevant for your dashboard and uh, keep making the changes into your box plots until unless it satisfies all your needs but it is a very very nice and useful chart or for all those who really want to see what is going on in the data and want to drive the insights from the data so that's pretty much about it and i will meet you in the new video the new topic